I'm Ben and I'm a respiratory therapist at Alpine Home Medical. Today we'll discuss ways you can fit your mask at home. Masks are designed to fit lightly on the skin. Over tightening can create more leak instead of resolving a leak. So a good guide to use is that you should be able to place two fingers between the headgear strap and your face. Note that it's okay to have some leaks around your mouth. The device is able to compensate small leaks but you should make mask adjustments for large leaks. Also, you should not have any leaks near your eyes. To resolve a leak by your eyes, adjustments can be made to the upper strap of your headgear. To resolve a leak by your mouth or chin, adjust the lower strap. Some masks have an adjustment built into the mask which changes the angle the mask sits onto your face. Changing the adjustment will bring the mask closer to the bridge of your nose or farther away from the bridge. The idea is to get the minimum amount of pressure on your nose that creates a good seal. Remember, a clean mask always creates a better seal. Oil on the silicone cushion will prevent the mask from sealing. Daily cleaning will help a mask make a better seal and last longer. Also note that your headgear will stretch over time and will need adjusting. It is important to know that a mask fits on your face differently when you are sitting as opposed to when you are lying flat on your bed. So when you are fitting your mask, make sure you do it while lying down. Using a mirror when you are getting used to your new mask will help you to make equal adjustments to both sides of your headgear and help you to find the buckles or hooks that attach the headgear to the mask. Don't forget, replacement is important. Masks are designed to be replaced every three to four months and your insurance will most likely cover this cost. So call today to set up your customized replacement program at 801-506-1876.